So this is a crazy video card, and I can't even imagine how much this is going to cost. I don't think the price is actually listed here. And there is a limited edition of these. MSI made a 2,500 watt limited edition RTX 5090 with a screen. Yes, we're going to get into that in this video. And if you like videos like this, you can help me out by doing what's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell and comment down below. So they're coining this card, the King of Kings, and you will need to be a king to be able to afford this video card, no doubt about it. Although there isn't a price mentioned here, I suspect it will be anywhere from five to $10,000 because rumor has it that later this year, you might be spending $5,000 US on just the plain Jane RTX 5090. So the full name on this video card is the MSI GeForce RTX 5090 32G Lightning Z or Z. It was released at CES 2026 and look at this thing it's relatively small when you consider the video card itself which is right here has a screen on it to display animations and statistics and system i guess specs and all that stuff attached to it though you can see the tubes coming out here going to a water cooler now from what i can gather from this article everything about this is pretty much custom including premium molded carbon fiber elements. I can't wait to see actually later on this year how much this is going to cost. I mean, would you look at that beautiful eight inch display that is on top of the video card? Pretty cuckoo, but very, very interesting. So when you combine a 5090 video card with an AIO, and you supply tons of power to it, of course, of course, performance is going to be pretty spectacular. I mean, don't forget, you've got an AIO here, right? You've got three fans on it. You've got this hybrid thin radiator design and some kind of fantastic futuristic next gen pump. Now, how much faster is this over a plain Jane? Regular Founders Edition NVIDIA RTX 5090 video card? Quite a lot, actually, or at least... MSI is saying that it is. MSI achieved 53,207 in Time Spy, which is considerably higher than the mid to high 40,000s this GPU typically achieves. I mean, this is in fact a dream card, but you know, dreams are dreams for a reason. Most of us can't make our dreams come true. What are your thoughts on this?